Hello and welcome back for another video from Nottingham Music Excellence. So I thought to do a quick little video just talking about this Bluetooth speaker of mine. Now I know a lot of YouTube content is consumed mostly through people's phones. And I am aware that, um, well, you know, I put a lot of work into some of my videos to get the quality really good and to get the backing tracks really good. So I thought I'd recommend a speaker that was really good for playing the backing tracks through that you can really play along with. Um, so here we are, this is the uh, Add-on T5 it's called, made by Audio Pro. They don't actually make this anyone, they don't make this anymore, it's called the C5 now. And I think even the C5 might be coming obsolete, I'm not sure, but the C5 is basically the newer sort of multi-room speaker version of this speaker, but it's essentially the same one. So I take this to work with me and, and it's really handy. So if you, if you don't sort of rattle all the oral tests off, you know, if you're not great on the piano like me, uh, it's really handy. So I keep the oral tests on my phone and just sort of play it through the speaker. And also when I'm teaching, if I want to just play the backing tracks through here and then sort of play along with the pupil, you know, it's, it's really handy for that as well. And it kicks out a surprising amount of sound, an incredible amount of sound. And certainly if you play it through, if you use it for Spotify and you play some David Guetta through there or something like that, some more sort of rock and pop music, um, it produces room filling sound for, you know, for that size of unit, it's pretty incredible. Now you can find, if you're playing it with saxophone, which is a louder instrument and you're playing some more classical sort of like piano tracks with it, some of those ABRSM sort of accompaniment tracks are very quiet. And, and so it does have its limitations. Some of those tracks, if they are quiet and you want to put a saxophone with it, it's just about loud enough. Um, it's just about there. So um, they do do a more powerful version of this called the C10, which is a lot more powerful. So if you're a saxophone player and you want something that is really going to sort of um, kick out more sound, then you might want to consider the C10, but it is a lot more expensive. But I think for most people, this is um, this will really do the job. So have a listen. I'm going to I'm going to play a few tracks through it and do a bit of saxophone. And I've chosen this book here, the um, the movie songs by Special Arrangement. I do this with quite a lot of pupils. There's about three or four of these done by what well, used to be Warner Brothers, but it's now called I think Alfred Publications or something. Um, and these are great books. The quality of the backing tracks are really good. Uh, so they, they come out perfectly well through this speaker. So I'm going to do a little bit of saxophone uh, with me and the speaker. And you'll hear that hopefully we're fairly evenly matched on the sound. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm not going to play all of the tracks all the way through. I'm just going to give you a taster of, of a couple of these tracks. Hope you enjoy the, the music. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed that. Well, I'm not going to leave without having a few moans about this speaker. Now, when I bought it, the reason actually I bought it is because I've got one of my teacher rooms that I work in hasn't got power in it. And I wanted a, a wireless speaker to sort of use in that room. So I bought this and I didn't, I have to confess, I didn't check out the details as thoroughly as I probably should have done. It was the, it's the first Bluetooth speaker I bought, actually. Um, no, it says on the box, wireless speaker. And I noticed in the details that it said it had, you know, USB charging in the back of it. So I thought, mm, you know, I didn't think much of it, but I thought that was probably, you know, to charge the speaker, to power it up, you know. But lo and behold, the the um, USB charging is just so that you can plug your phone into it and charge your phone, which is pretty useless, really. So although it says wireless speaker on the box, you do actually have to plug it in, which I have to say I was a bit annoyed about because I thought it's a bit, it never mentioned that on the details of the speaker. And even if you look on the back of the box, there's a picture of the speaker there on a desk with a computer and a monitor and no wire sticking out the back of it. So Audio Pro, if you're listening to this, I think that's a bit naughty and a bit deceptive and very annoying actually. But um, apart from that, I've been really enjoying using it. It's um, And uh, I use it in the garage as well if I'm working in there and it, and it you know, as I say, it, it fills the room with sound. Um, so it's pretty good. So I was thinking about, shall I upgrade? Shall I get the bigger one, the C10? But then I've, I've had my eye on a Sony one actually that does work from its own power, a bit more expensive. Um, but it looks quite nice. But at the moment, this is um, this is doing the job. So that's it, I think. Let me know in the comments there, you know, if you're using something similar to play along with my videos. I mean, obviously, I don't think um, I don't think you'll be able to play along with those backing tracks from your phone, obviously. So you'll need. And the, the problem is, if you if you use wireless headphones, if you use Bluetooth headphones, you can't hear your playing clear enough. Um, now that you may have noticed that I've got some headphones in when I'm listening to the backing track when I'm playing along um, They're actually like a bit of an old-school pair of little headphones and they, they leak all the sound in so I can hear what I'm playing really clearly But a lot of these newer sort of in the ear Headphones and certainly the over ear ones if you play along with those you'll hear the accompaniment nicely But you just won't hear your your own playing very well so let me know in the description there what you use and you know if you've got something similar and you like it or if you've got any recommendations for for something that's a bit more powerful than this maybe and that does run off its own power I'd love to hear from you. Okay, but I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you again on another video on another video. Bye.